Breaking right now at noon, Kestrel Heights High School in Durham will close for at least three years. The State Board of Education just voted minutes ago to accept the Charter School Advisory Board's recommendation. The K-8 through school will remain open. This all follows the admission from the school that more than 150 students over several years were given diplomas despite not meeting state requirements. We want to get back to that breaking news we first brought you at the top of the hour. The State Board of Education has approved a recommendation to shut down the high school at Kestrel Heights Charter School. The Durham School has admitted to not properly giving diplomas to more than 160 students. CBS North Carolina's Derek Lewis just left that board meeting and joins us live with details on the decision. Derek. Maggie, that vote came about 30 minutes ago. The State Board of Education voted to shut down Kestrel Heights High School for three years. Now, this came from a recommendation from the Charter School Advisory Board after it was discovered that more than 160 students received diplomas since 2008 without earning them. Now, this decision will impact more than 300 students who currently go to the high school at Kestrel Heights. We talked to the executive director. He said he is disappointed in this decision, but right now his focus is to make sure that these students who are impacted receive the best education possible. Board members during this vote, before the vote happened, said that right now uh, it is not an easy decision, but this is the easiest way to make sure that Kestrel Heights is held accountable. The school board, the Kestrel Heights school board, will have 10 days to appeal this decision. I'll have more from the executive director tonight at 5 and the latest on this story. Live in Raleigh, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS North Carolina.